Hey, this is Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. Well, I'm a film critic, and I'm getting ready to talk about this film called Battle of the Sexes. That's almost every day, isn't it? Well, this is a story about Bobby Riggs and Billie Jean King. Uh, this happened around 1973, 74, around that time when this happened. Well, first of all, Billie Jean King is played by Emma Stone, the Academy Award winner. And I tell you, she really captured her. I mean, really, you really felt her. She was, uh, at that time, Billie Jean was 29 years old, a young lady, married, and uh, she was becoming the number one tennis player. And But she's also fighting for equal rights for the women in tennis to make sure they got equal pay when they played also. Of course, the tennis world did not want to pay women equal pay when they won their tournaments. It was a male thing, as they stated. Now, Bobby Riggs is played by Steve Carell. I thought he did a very good job of Bobby Riggs. And at this time, Bobby Riggs is a 55-year-old uh, person. You know, in the 40s, he was the number one tennis player. But this is 30 years later, in 1972, 73, 74. Well, we see Bobby Riggs in this film. He's married to a very rich woman played by Elizabeth Shue. And I got to admit this, what a waste. She hardly did anything in this film. She just showed up smiling like a like a Stefford wife, as people want to say these days. What a waste. Very talented young lady. And they didn't really use her that much at all. But anyway, Bobby Riggs, you know, he's a gambling uh, person who had an addiction to gambling. And plus, he still wanted to be in the limelight. And as you can see that uh, Bobby Riggs in this too, you know, he's always looking for a hustle. He's always looking for something to, you know, to do and make some money some way, some way, even though his wife is rich. You know, he lives in his wife's house, you know, but, you know, that's how he was portrayed at the beginning of the film. Uh, of course, then Bobby came up with this idea, man versus woman. And that's where the film took off right then and there. Now, other people in this film, too, uh, you got uh, Andrea Rosenbrauer as Marilyn Barnett. She, Marilyn Barnett is a hairdresser, and she became Billie Jean's uh, love interest in the film. You got Sarah Silverman. She playing Gladys Hellman. Uh, she's like an agent for the tennis ladies. And Alan Common as Ted Tingling. Uh, he's a dresser, uh, you know, person that dresses up stars and things like that. Now, this is directed by Jonathan Dayton and Valerie Ferris. You know, they've they done movies before. And the writer in this one is uh, Simon Beshfoy. Now, I will say the dialogue was pretty good in this, and it kept you entertained. And I really didn't hear a lot of 70 type of talking and 70 colloquialisms uh, in this film. They did the best job that they could. Anyway, going with the story, uh, Billie Jean at this time did not, uh, didn't realize that she had something in her. Well, she fell in love with her hairdresser, and she was married to Larry, played by Austin Stowell, Larry King. And Billie Jean, she really didn't know she was going to fall in love, and she didn't want that to distract her from, you know, tennis and also the women trying to get equal pay and equal billing and things like that. Now, in this film, I had a couple of questions uh, that I uh, thought should be answered. First of all, uh, why did the filmmakers try to make uh, Bobby Riggs a human being? Yeah, he's a human being, but, you know, he was very nasty about men versus women and things like that. Uh, in, in, uh, in the film, he wasn't. He was more playful. He was more a little bit clownish in this film, and he was just as equal as in the character in this film as Billie Jean. In other words, you couldn't hate him. You liked him. 
And just like her, you couldn't hate her, you had to like her too, according to uh, Simon's uh, writing. And also many of the characters too in, that, in this film were very nice, but we're talking about 70s white men. They were not that nice back then because I lived in that time. And they tried to capture the 70s with the budget that they had, but I still say that they lost a little bit of that, uh, trying to capture, capture the 70s. And the other problem that I had during the tennis match, the, the main one between Bobby Riggs and Billie Jean, unfortunately, you can tell those are doubles. You can tell those are not the stars playing tennis in the movie. For one example, the male had a different hair color compared to what uh, Steve Carell had. And the uh, other person uh, who played Billie Jean playing tennis, you can tell she's a little taller and things like that. Uh, I mean, there's just something for me. But uh, I want to feel real. I don't want to feel like I'm being taken. Now, Stone's acting, as far as Billie Jean, was very good. You know, she played her in a type of shy way. And she wasn't demonstrative or anything like that. She's always on an even keel. I'm sure she wasn't like that in real life. And also, um, Carell's version of Bobby Riggs played him as a nice guy. You know, not a nasty guy, but as a nice guy. And he probably was a nice guy, a real nice human being. But if I remember from some of the interviews and things he did in real life, he was not. But Battle of the Sexes, it is entertaining. That's all I care about. That is a film that I enjoyed watching. And, of course, I had someone to root for. But, of course, I knew who was going to win. But, overall, I enjoyed this film. It's not a perfect film. It's a good film, not a great film. So I'm only going to give this two and a half palm trees out of four. Only two and a half. It's above average. But it's not great. Battle of the Sexes. I would say go see it for yourself and let me know what you think about it. Because I'm Al McGee, a film critic. And you should tell me what you know. Well, thank you for watching Your Entertainment Ticket at www.yeticket.com. I really appreciate it that you watch me. You are watching yeticket.com with Al McGee. Movie reviews and interviews. This is yeticket.com. Yeticket.com. Your entertainment ticket. We are your entertainment ticket. That's right. Yeticket.com. We are your entertainment ticket.